Okay, boys and girls, so today I want to make, uh, paint some eggs. Well, maybe just one egg for a one day project. So this is using um, professional watercolors right here, but at home you might not have access to professional watercolors. So what I did was I got some coffee and I made it super strong and then I let it sit overnight so that it could evaporate a little bit and now it's a really strong color. This is what I'm gonna use for my paint. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. I am kind of obsessed with with eggs right now. I don't know why, but um, I got this big book of eggs by Mark E. Hauber, um, and this is a great book because it shows the actual size of the egg. So this is the actual size of the egg, and then it shows a detail. So if I was actually to get that in, find it in a uh, nest, it would be this size. But the um, it gives you a detail of what it actually looks like, so in case you want to do some kind of drawing. It says what kind of bird it comes from. Um, they have some birds that are extinct, so like dinosaur birds, so like the egg is really big on those. Um, so it's kind of neat. Uh, so I have that as a reference. I like having a reference when I'm doing some kind of artwork from nature. So let me just show you this for a second. This is a paper towel that I have rolled up very, very tightly so that it has a point like this. And I'm still rolling, rolling, rolling. And it's a little offset, you can see. It's not completely straight so that I can get that little point over there. This is going to be my paintbrush. I have never done this with a paintbrush like this before, so we will see how it goes. I have this right here that I've separated into uh, little squares, and I think I'm going to use like this square right here. Let's see. This square? Yeah, that's a good one. All right, so I found something that would fit in this it's not a square, it's a rectangle. I found something that would fit in this rectangle really well for my egg. I like separating my eggs like that. So, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get a pencil to trace around the bottom of this. So I'm gonna hold that tight, trace around the bottom, like so. I hope you can see that. So I have a little semicircle right here. I'm gonna put the top of the egg up here and then I'm going to just do a gentle curve down to the other part. Gentle curve. I tried to make the dot right here in the middle but I think I was a little to the left and that's fine. I'm not perfect, and you know what? Eggs aren't perfect either. Some eggs look a little weird and lopsided too. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, now, when I'm doing my coffee egg, <laughs> I am going to take my paper towel, I'm going to dip it in the coffee, and we'll see how this goes. This is my first time doing something like that. You can see how the coffee is seeping up into the paper towel. I want it to be really wet, so I'm gonna put it down in there a little bit. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is the bottom part of my egg, because there's gonna be more shadows down there, if this works out well. There's gonna be more shadows down there. So I'm just drawing on the paper like I'm holding a pencil. A big thing with watercolor and with coffee is that you want to have layers and layers to make things darker. I'm going to put my brush in the water a little bit and see if I can get a really light color. Putting it in the water again. Maybe I should have another one just for water. I'm wondering to myself. I'm 
I'm trying to stay in the lines. So now my brush has, has uh, curved a little bit because I'm pressing on it. I'm going to turn it the other way so that I can use this for as long as possible before I have to make another little napkin. Oh, got a little outside the lines there and that's fine. Nobody's perfect. Let me get some water. Just regular water, water that down a little bit. I don't want it to be as dark at the top because that's where my light source is coming from. I want it to be darker at the bottom where there's more shadows. So I want, I'm just dipping into the water to dilute that a little bit at the top. And I want to dip into the water. I think I'm going to use the back and maybe even fold it over like that. Use the back so I have a clean um, piece of paper and I'm going to get some water on it. And I'm going to try to blend that edge up here. Blend the edge into the white. Hmm, nicely blended. Hmm, I like this coffee egg. Okay, I'm going to go back into the coffee and I'm going to do another little bit of darkness over here. Another layer, if you will, of darkness. I'm going to go down here again. The big thing with watercolor is having patience to do the layers. So I'm layering and layering and layering, one layer on top of another layer to get a real sense of dimension. I'm going to use the other side now, I'm going to get some regular water so I can blend this. This is kind of a harsh line right here, so I want to blend it. Do you see how that water just blends it a bit? Blend, blend, blend. I don't have enough darkness over here. I'm going to switch to the other side of my paper towel so I can lightly put in that darkness. Now, you don't want to press too hard. You de do need a kind of a cardstock paper for this because if you have just copier paper, um, you could go right through the paper because it is water and you're putting layers of water on top of each other so it is kind of harsh on the paper. Okay, you see how that has a harsh line right there? I don't want that. If you like that, you can absolutely keep that. I'm using the other side of the paper towel. I put a little bit more water on it and you can see it just blends it in really nicely over here. Blend, blend, blend. And ooh, I like that. That's nice, that's coming out nice. Okay, I'm switching over to the coffee end again. I'm gonna go layers over here because I want it to be a little darker on this side. Being very delicate. I am going into the white a little bit. I know that I'm I'm making a harsh line, but I'm gonna blend that later on now that I know that my coffee can blend very well. This is a great experiment. I love this. Um, oh, there's water. I almost dipped my water end into the coffee. That would have been bad. So I think this is my finished egg. It is not dry yet, 
but you could tell that I put a lot of different layers on it. Um, and I put the specs in because the specs just happened and then I really liked it. So I just added the specs. You don't have to have specs on your egg if you don't want to, but lots of eggs do have specs. <clears throat> um, this was one that I did so that I could try out different methods, try out a really thin brush, try out a dry brush. So these were different methods that I did, but it's really great with eggs because you can try different things because there's an egg that looks like that somewhere. Or you could just make up what an egg actually looks like. Um, this is done. So I hope you enjoy this. This is a one day project. So um, it shouldn't take you more than like 20 minutes, I would think. But if it takes two, uh, two days to do, then that's fine. That counts for your ne next week's um, art time because <clears throat> I only have you for 20 minutes a day. So if it does take two weeks, just let me know when you send it to me or in the notes of Art Sonia that this took you 40 minutes and then it counts as two weeks of a project. I hope you have fun. Bye.